Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to get a Pico laser treatment. It refines your pores, it gets rid of all the freckles and um, acne scars and overall just like gets, just does everything. Everything. And it's very not invasive. You just got to be really careful with hydration. Yeah. In the recent years, I basically have been spending less money on skincare. So I use like a mid-range quality skincare. And then instead I'll go and get um, laser treatment done. Because no matter how expensive your skincare is, it's not going to be as effective as getting a laser treatment. So, like, yes, do your skincare, but, you know, also you can see more results in that sense. So I feel like money well spent, especially for people who are like mid-twenties, late-twenties, getting a little bit old. So yeah, I will tell you all about the pricing, where it is, where I go, how it felt, and just everything. So I'm coming back to Ronghua, this clinic, which is located in Taipei. My appointment was at 4.30 p.m. Reason why I chose the afternoon is because after the procedure was done, the sun will go down, which means my freshly lasered skin will not be exposed to the sun. So this is the fourth time coming into this clinic. And reason why I like this one is because they don't try and sell you stuff constantly. <laughs> After signing all the papers, they took some photos of my skin. Lauren said it looked like I was trying to start a live stream. Next, they took me to this beauty room to cleanse my skin. Since I knew I was getting a procedure done, I only had some sunscreen on that day. It was very relaxing because all you had to do was lie there and she would just cleanse your face gently. It was so relaxing, I almost fell asleep. Next, she started applying this numbing cream all over my face so I wouldn't feel too much pain during the procedure. It had like a slight tingling sensation. The lady was very nice and used a very thick layer of numbing cream on my skin because I told her I was a blow b Then I went to the waiting room for the numbing cream to kick in. I've had this numbing cream on my face for like 30 minutes now. I can't really feel my face. After that, she removed all the numbing cream. It was like frosting or unfrosting a cake. I ended up having the numbing cream on my face for like an hour because someone mucked up the appointment so I really couldn't feel anything and because of that I told the doctor to just go ahead. <laughs> While he was lasering my face, I could smell burning. The doctor was very precise and he really took his time. So I had two separate types of Pico laser. One was for the freckles and the other one was for the pores. Basically, it sends ultra short pulse of energy without heat. It breaks down the pigments in your skin and then your body just naturally metabolizes it. A lot of people will use Pico laser to get rid of unwanted tattoos as well. The second laser head he changed to was for the pores and that one was a little bit painful, especially at the edges of where the numbing cream got thinner. Right after the procedure, the lady put on a very cooling and hydrating mask. So I asked the doctor to go hard because I had my numbing cream on for like a really long time. So I was like, might as well. Also, I only bought one session. So he really went in there. Right now my face feels like it's burning actually really hurts so I got two different laser heads one is for Pico which is for uh, freckles and brightening and um, acne scars second one is for pores and like little dips in your skin to smooth smoothen it out so the second one he used was a lot harder than the first one and that one hurt and now the numbing is like going away everything I saw your face like <laughs> yeah I was like twitching because like towards yeah. the ends at ed edges of where the numbing cream was yeah, yeah. you can feel it when you look like you got a really bad rash I look like I have a bad rash did you get did you walk into a beehive bro yeah I tried to steal some honey the lady also applied some cream to help with the redness I just got home this is my skin now it's very wet looking. I have ointment on my skin for the redness. It's gone down a lot. Kinda kinda stingy. Doesn't really hurt anymore. 
hello so this is day two the redness has really gone down it doesn't look that different from yesterday but i have noticed a lot of my white heads especially around on my nose have come up to the surface and so when you wash your face gently it kind of just falls out overall my face looks brighter and just smoother like very very subtly like only you would notice so this is day four and i got a big pimple on my face they did warn me about it they said if you don't hydrate enough you're gonna get pimples and i ran out of face mask but i was really busy so i had to wait like two days before i got it so i got a massive pimple also i'm getting my period next week so maybe that's why definitely the texture has gone away my skin looks a lot smoother it feels a lot smoother the pigments are still kind of there they also said that it will come to the surface scab and then fall off i'm going to share with you how much i paid and where i went and how to find a decent clinic so this time i paid 3500 nt for one session and I actually found this deal on Instagram. I recognized this clinic because I've been there before, so I was like, wow, this is a really good price, so I'm just gonna go for it. Right before Chinese New Year, or at the end of the year, during winter time, a lot of clinics will do deals. If you click on one ad, you're gonna get 100 others. So there's a lot to pick from. A good way to find a good clinic is by A, checking out the location of the clinic. If they're in a expensive area and they're able to stay in business for two to three years they're probably doing all right also check their facebook because taiwanese people love using facebook so you want to see they're regularly updating the cost of pico laser ranges from about five thousand to seven thousand on average normally but when it's on special it can be as low as two thousand dollars i haven't tried those before two thousand to four thousand is all quite reasonable you're supposed to get it once a month so next month i'm going to try a different clinic a little bit cheaper so i can kind of see like what is the difference i guess it comes down to the doctor i don't know i'll see and um i will document it so we'll wait and see bye